Hey guys, it's Matt um, again for my second video. I'm going to do this video for TikiNotes.net. It's my other blog, and this video uh, will show you how to easily block uh, websites using uh, free methods. I won't even call it software. Free methods that are already built into Windows, and um, <clears throat> I get a lot of parents and. Uh, a lot of clients that just want to block a few sites that are just you know they're taking up too much people's time too much of their kids time or they're sucking up the corporate bandwidth um, so I'm going to show you how you can easily block just a few sites for free so in this setup you have a kids logon or an employee logon and you have a parents logon or you can think of it as um, an IT admin, you know, boss kind of log on. So we have some trouble with people loading Facebook and Pandora, I'm wasting their time on Facebook all day long, uh, or sucking up uh, bandwidth on Pandora or YouTube. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and log on as the parents or the admin log on and make sure this is password protected and uh... okay this is making sure that was working what we're going to do now what you want to do is start taking some notes here if you're not familiar with this uh... we're going to go ahead and open up computer and we want to get to our c drive so once C is open, we're going to go ahead and double click Windows. Go down to System 32. And double click Drivers. Double click the Etsy folder, or ETC folder. And you have a file right here at the top called Hosts. And what you want to do is right click that file and hit Open. So now Windows is going to come up and say, it's going to say, I have no idea what the hell that file is. Um, how do you want to open it? And a lot of people don't know. But basically what you want to do is hit Notepad. And it loads like this. And you're like, what the hell is all this crap? Just basically come over here to the last T and hit Enter. We're going to add a new line. And what we're going to do to block websites, this is how it's going to go. 127. 0 .0 0.0.1, just type that in, don't worry about it. We'll type in www.facebookbooked.com. Do the same thing again. Facebook.com. And we're going to keep adding these 127.0.0.1s, and we're going to do www.pandora.com, and we're going to do another one for just pandora.com. The www does make a difference, um, and having it without makes a difference. So. So we have uh, Pandora.com, www.pandora.com, and Pandora.com. So 127.0.0.1, that's basically our computer. That's the computer we're sitting at right now. We're saying that Pandora, the big, huge company, Pandora, of streaming radio, is located on our computer here sitting on the floor. It's not. It's out on the Internet. So we're tricking our computer computer's browser or uh, networking system into thinking Pandora actually resides in this computer. It, it does not. So it just never loads. So we'll go ahead and say save and close. Now sometimes when you save it's going to prompt you to save as. No, you can't do that. You have to save the host file as hosts. It has no extension as well. You can see it just says host. If it asks you to save as and you're logged in as the administrator, right click it, hit properties, and make sure read only is unchecked. Alright, so now let's log in as our, um, our uh, kids. 
or, or the uh, employee. Let's go ahead and open up our browser. And let's go to Facebook. And right away, Facebook just doesn't load. You can see Internet Explorer cannot display it. So they're pretty much hosed at that point. Let's try Pandora. Same thing. Pandora doesn't load. So you can use this method just to block a variety of sites. Just one, two sites, or you can get a list and block thousands and thousands of sites. It's really up to you. It's a simple way just to, you know, get your kids to focus on, you know, schoolwork type stuff or get your employees to start working and stop wasting bandwidth, things like that. So, anyway, uh, short video, but I think it's pretty effective, especially in this day and age. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm done for tonight. I'm going to upload this. I'll see you guys later.